How does Magnus die? I actually think he dies peacefully of old age, um, calmly, and holding in his hand his wife's wedding ring. And you are surrounded by friends as things get hazier and hazier in a way that you're kind of familiar with. And then in a flash, there's Kravitz. He's not in his reaper form. And he reaches out his hand and takes yours and he helps you to your feet. And he says, my friend, I think this one's going to take. Let's hope so for your sake. I don't want you getting in trouble with the boss. And then we see the two of you in the astral plane. You're standing on these still waters, and in front of you, there's a small island. And on that island is a wooden cottage that has clearly been crafted with expert hands. There are windows of cut glass that are half open, and on top of the house is an earthen roof covered in lush green moss. And Kravitz turns to you as you're standing on the water, and he says, You... You can't stay here forever, but I'll make sure you have as much time as you need. Thank you. The door to the cottage opens, and two dogs come bounding out. And one is a a large, old bloodhound, and the other is a Scottish deerhound, and it's Johan. Hey, buddy. (laughs) And then there's Julia. And she's carrying a ladder and a hammer and she's got some nails uh, that she, she's holding in her mouth and and she goes to set up the ladder on the side of the cottage and then she stops and she turns and she sees you, Magnus. What do you do? I, I just stare at her. Not in the dumbfounded way, not in I can't believe it way, but just I can't not look at her. She sets her tools down and she smiles and she says, You lived so much longer than I thought you were going to. I know. I'm sorry I made you wait. I think she she starts running towards you and you start running towards her and you you embrace in front of this house and the two dogs are just kind of weaving around your feet as you stand there for what feels like hours and I whisper in her ear I tried to make you proud she laughs and she says I'm sure you did and she she pulls away from you and you're both still pretty tearful and she motions towards the cottage and she says what do you think Did you make this? Yeah, no, the dogs made it. (laughs) I I love the joints. Uh, Really good craftsmanship. She says, I've envisioned this moment for a long time, Magnus, and I was so hoping you would compliment the joints. And she smiles and says, I really have thought about this moment for a long time, and I I don't want to rush it. I want to savor every second of this, and... We got all kinds of time. So why don't you come inside and tell me everything, okay? And she she walks back towards the house and opens the door and she whistles and the two dogs go bounding back inside and she turns and smiles at you and she steps into the cottage. Well, it all started when I met the most beautiful elf and the bravest cleric he ever met. Except, well, he said he was a cleric. We can never be sure. I think you're telling this story to her as you walk into the house. Um, and the camera just kind of zooms out as we watch you walk through the yard toward the door reciting this story. And we see you one last time as Magnus rushes in. <laughs> 